improve road safety. Obviously, it's Hi guys! guys. We're going to get the computer that he bought. Yeah, morning guys. I have to pick up my brand new computer because my old one uh, gave up. And now I'm quite excited to go and pick up my new one, which we got for a bargain price. It's an X display model, but it is brand new. Comes with all the normal guarantees and, and warranties and that. Uh, but because it was an X display model, uh, we got, got a discount. Got a discount of fifty pounds, which is quite good. The, the, the representative, the, uh, the staff that was the rep, what was uh, dealing with us. Really nice, nice fella called Gil. Really nice man, Filipino, and talking to him for quite a while. Uh, mainly about the Philippines, not about computers. <laughs> <laughs> You're talking about Philippines, yeah. man. Uh, yeah, very nice man. Very helpful, friendly. Everybody's using computer now. What did we do when we didn't have computers and mobile phones? Just like 1970s. Yeah. 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 You just have to walk out to a phone box or use the, phone, the land phone in your house. And put a coin, coin in the phone box to make a phone call. Or most people had, had phones in their house, like a landline phone. Uh, used to use that. And emails, well, they were never heard of. If you wanted to message somebody, it was writing them a letter. And telegram, if yeah. it's an emergency. Yeah. Write a letter and then wait about a week for a reply. Yeah. Now you just... And we are so excited to get the letter, right? Yeah. The answer. Yeah. And now you just email and a reply comes back within minutes. Yeah. No excitement anymore. No. no. It's not like the uh, snail mail. Banking. You to wait. Banking. When you when you wanted to go to the bank. Years ago you used to have to walk down to the bank, queue up for hours, pay your money in, mm -hmm. or draw your money out, whichever you wanted to do. Now you just go online, boss, boss, boss. And pay your bills. Pay your bill online. You, your money, your wages and your money gets paid in automatically. You haven't got to go to the bank to pay it in or to pay a check in. And you can bash people already if I you don't, want to. I, 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 I don't remember the last time I got a cheque. <laughs> Do you remember you used to get paid by cheque? Yeah. You know, they'd write you out a cheque and you had to go to the bank, pay it into your bank account, mm -hmm. wait three days for it to clear. And you're so excited, right? Yeah. Now, now they just pay straight into your bank and it's there straight away. We were paid cash when I was working in a factory. It's in, in an envelope. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I did when I first got... With the coins on yeah. it and... Uh... Yeah, when I, first, when I first started work in 1966, we got paid cash, a little, little uh, wage, wage yeah. packet. Yeah. But on the back of the wage packet, it was printed your wages, your, your tax, your name, your wages, your tax, and your national insurance total paid. And it feels so good, right? Yeah. That the money you, you get, you you work hard for it. Yeah. Yeah, now it's different. Yeah. The original cell phones was a lot house brick, big one like that. It's mm -hmm. hold up to it, like that. Yeah. Like we used to call it a house brick. You could make With a call. antenna. Yeah. You could make a call on it line wasn't so clear. Mm. Most of the time you lost your temple of it and threw it in the back of the car. Uh, you couldn't make taxes on it. No. You couldn't do taxes. Because the internet is so slow yeah. during that time. Well when I when when the house house phones were around, people didn't have internet. You know, the, the only computers were uh, like mechanical computers. I didn't have all these silicon chips and all that. Uh, and the only the only people that had them were big firms like the telephone service. 
you know, people uh, with computers in their home, the first computers for home use weren't actually computers, they were, they were game, like a game thing like a Commodore 64. You had a keypad and all that, but you couldn't get on the internet. You just used to play games, you used to insert a thing and play games on it. Mm. Like brick blocks. Yeah. <laughs> the Space Invaders. Do you remember Space Invaders? Yeah. Pac Man. <laughs> Pac Man, yeah. <laughs> Space Invaders and Pac Man. So exciting. <laughs> and do you remember when we have a landline? During those days, we make friends like phone pal. Yeah, phone pals and pen pals. Yeah. Hello, can I? Can we? Can we be friends like that? Yeah. To strangers, right? We used to get on the. You know the, the call boxes you get in the street. Mm -hmm. Phone boxes you get. In the, when I was a kid, we used to get on the phone book in in the phone. Dial one hundred. That that got you through to the oper operator. Yeah. And we used to say. Dial 100 and they, hello? And you go, is that the operator on the line? And they go, yes. And we say, well, get off, there's a train coming. <laughs> you do that when you were kids? Yeah. Oh, we used to be used to do all sorts of And then you were all, all laughing. Yeah, all sorts of pranks we used to do. Yeah. Is that the operator on the line? Yes. Well, get off, there's a train coming. <laughs> And you just hang up. Yeah. I think I'll park there. That's where I need to get the car. Ayan po, nandito na kami sa car is easy road. Diyan niya po kukunin. Hi guys. That's it. Our little trip to car is PC world. Picked up my computer. Uh, nice, uh, Spoke to the same Filipino representative, member of staff, really nice man. I'd like to say thank you very much to Gil. Very helpful. Very helpful, very friendly. Really nice man. So if you do watch this Gil, thank you very much. You have to pronounce it Hill. Hill, even though it's spelled G-I-L? Yes. Ah. Hill. When we went to look at it yesterday, I didn't have my card with me. Because uh, I wasn't intending to buy it there and then, but when it was offered to me at such a good price, uh, I decided there and then to buy it. Cheryl had her card with her. So, oh gosh. Well, she had the cash, so she paid for it for me, and I should go to the bank, draw out the money, and give it back to her. Then it shall be mine. <laughs> for now, it's mine. For now, it's Cheryl's at the moment. <laughs> Not for long, though. I can give it to you as a gift. I don't like accepting uh, gifts from cost that sort of money from people because it makes me feel obligated. obligated. And whether it's a wife, family or friend, I don't like being obligated to anybody. Isn't that your principle? That is my principle. Don't have nothing on credit. Apart from my credit cards of course. But uh, never buy anything on credit. The more credit you have, the more you get in debt. The more you get in debt, then you get in trouble. Yeah. If you can't afford it, don't have it. Don't that's have the it. that's the way I look at it. So in Tagalog, what mangutang kung hindi kailangan? want anything that badly and you haven't got the money don't get credit save up for it and then buy it save your money 
put a little bit aside each time you get some money in, put a little bit aside. But once you've got enough, then go and buy what you want. But I don't like I don't like Me credit. too, I don't like credit. I don't like all that. I mean you, you you could pay your car insurance and that on, on on credit like monthly. But I don't even do that. I'll pay everything straight away. Straight up. My philosophy is if you have a lot of credit and it's all coming out of your bank account every month, you'll never see your, your, your bank account grow. All you'll see is it go down. If you pay cash for everything, when you when you have the money, then you can watch your bank account grow. How about uh, a mortgage for a house before when that, that's, you were still that's, young? That's different. That's different. That's you have to work for it. Although it is a sort of credit agreement, it is an investment. Plus, if you wasn't paying a mortgage every month, you'd be paying rent every month. So there's really not that much difference. Apart from the fact that mortgage will cost you more than the rent. I don't like credit. Wow. So we're going to grocery and yeah. get what I need for my uh, recipe. Yes. And it's going to the garage. Yeah, yeah but I probably won't be down there very long. I've only got a couple of bits I've got to do. I might take the uh, Royal Enfield out for a little run. But I'm not going to be late home. I'm going to be maybe early afternoon. Once the bikes are finished, I've got work to do on the car. Bits and pieces I want to do. When it went in for the MOT, uh, last time it went in for the MOT, they put a lot of advisories on it. Uh, not dangerous, but needs to be kept a check on. Things like that, you know. And I want to fix them all. Because next year when I put it in the MOT, I want to try and get it so there's no advisories. Maybe just one. Maybe one. I don't want, I, I hate it when you, get, when you buy a car and there's loads of advisories on it. I don't like that because that means that stuff that's going to go wrong eventually. And if you leave it... Like a domino. Yeah. If you leave it and you don't do it, when it does go, you'll have one thing go, then you'll have the next thing go, then you'll have the next, then you'll have... And eventually it's going to cost you a fortune all in one hit to fix it. Correct. See what I mean? So the car will be worth keeping. It'll be, you know, it's scrap. If you do little by little as you go along, it's just routine maintenance, you know? Now, 